I'm back again. I'm back again because I want to answer a couple of questions for those of you who have brought some concerns. One of the concerns was, I'm not using what I learned already. What will I learn next? Well, I mentioned a little bit about what we'll learn in terms of going deeper, going wider, uh, unburdening the chakra healing, all the module information I can give you. But more importantly, I want to remind you that I miss termed this process. It is not just for couples. It is not just for should I stay or should I go. It is not just for mediation. It's a way to help people compassionately communicate with themselves as well as everyone else in their lives. So when I last did the Compassionate Mediation Program five years ago, it was individuals who were looking to either add passion to their marriage or compassion to their divorce. It was based on my book. And I had in the course, a woman who was happy in her marriage, but wanted to make it better. I had someone who was stuck, never even thought of a divorce or separation, but just knew she was stuck. I had someone who wanted to separate, but didn't know how to do it, what to think about. I had someone in the middle of a divorce who after she read the settlement prayer, which is part of the program, she sat down with her husband at the kitchen table and they drew up their own settlement agreement based on higher self and compassion. And I had someone in the group who was after her divorce, who was actually able to look at the way she communicated, the burden she was still carrying and heal from that experience long after the divorce was over. And the woman who came, who was in a happy marriage said to me, it's so amazing how much my husband has changed. Well, he didn't come, but she came and she knew that the way she was reacting to him was because he was triggering a part of her that once she realized it made her feel the same way she did when her grandmother criticized her. And she was able to unburden the pain from her childhood and show up in the present moment, reminding herself that her husband was not her grandmother, that she could calmly and compassionately share her hurt, her sadness, her fear, ask for what she wanted and needed, set appropriate boundaries, calmly, compassionately, and lo and behold, the relationship changed. So she was no longer a victim, he was no longer a perpetrator, and they could renew their relationship. One other thought that I need to share, and I shared it with the cohort, I recently went to Israel and my sister-in-law's parents are in their 90s. And she was talking to me about how difficult it was because they were really so mad at each other, they could barely stand each other, but they couldn't uh, continue to live that way, but that's how they were living. And I said, give me an hour. And they didn't want to do it because I was kind of a relative. They didn't want to impose on my time. And I don't speak Hebrew. So what I did was I downloaded the questions to ask, I downloaded the introduction of self and parts. I downloaded the self up the mountain meditation and I gave it to my sister-in-law who happens to be an IFS lead trainer, but she was reading in Hebrew, my words to her parents. And they just went on a trip together at 92. And that was, it was probably two hours because it was translated, but that's what you can use in any situation. So you're compassionately mediating an individual to take back to their relationship. You can compassionately mediate a new way of compassionately communicating with a couple in a group. And most of all, you go inside yourself and you mediate between the parts of you that are either in a relationship and want to stay or go, are in a relationship and have conflict. And you learn how to mediate your own parts and then mediate with the parts of someone else that's triggering to you. So there's so much gold in these hills. I want you to continue to dig with me on them. I am gonna give you a month uh, to kind of access whatever you still need to access from the portals. And then I'm going to hopefully see you in level two so we can continue this and go even deeper. And the people that have signed up so far are magnificent. You're all magnificent. So I know whoever of you says yes is going to really have a great experience. Otherwise, I wouldn't be touting it this much. All right. Love you guys. Thank you all for now. Let me know if you have any questions.